He had a death grip on the steering wheel. Man. A massive fire breaking out at a warehouse in San Francisco. It spread to five other buildings nearby, and it took several hours for more than 150 firefighters to put out the flames. One firefighter was taken to the hospital with a head injury, but has since been released. A cloud of thick black smoke rising over the entire city. Witnesses say the smoke could be seen from several miles away. A race to the rescue caught on camera in New Jersey. Police dash cam capturing the moment that an unconscious driver was pulled away from their smoking SUV after a bad crash. Just moments later, the SUV burst into flames. The people who saved the driver's life say it was difficult to get him out, but they are happy to have been there to be able to help. He had a death grip on the steering wheel, and uh, I had to break his grip from the steering wheel while Mr. Uh, Scott was pulling. I don't use the word lucky. I just said, thank God that um, at this point, he allowed us to be where we were, and nobody got hurt. Thanks to those good Samaritans there, police say the driver of that SUV was not seriously hurt. Also this morning, Donald Trump Jr. getting into trouble on Twitter. Twitter temporarily restricting his account after it says he violated their coronavirus misinformation policy. He posted a video making false claims about coronavirus cures. It also said wearing a mask isn't necessary. A Twitter spokesperson says his ability to tweet was limited for 12 hours. There are more plans today to honor the legacy of the late congressman and civil rights icon John Lewis. Lewis has been laying in state at the U.S. Capitol as politicians and the public paid their respects over the last two days. He's the first black lawmaker to receive the honor. Now his body heads to Georgia, the state he served for decades. A ceremony to honor the Democratic congressman is set in the Georgia Capitol building for this afternoon. Then his body will lie in state there until his funeral tomorrow. It's 542 and happening now, the Hood Milk Bottle outside the Boston Children's Museum will undergo a renovation. The museum says crews will renovate the facade and the infrastructure of the landmark. The milk bottle was built in 1934. The company renovating the bottle says the project should take just about four months. Still ahead on 7 News this morning. If you're trying to keep up with your workout program during the heat wave, well, we have some tips, so break in a sweat doesn't break you. Also, the nice pandemic shot. pitching some trouble for the MLB. You probably heard about this. The Red Sox reacting to positive coronavirus cases on other teams. And Massachusetts one step closer to having a different design on the state flag. We'll explain coming up at 6 o'clock. Hot yesterday, Boston's 90 degree tally. Now 8, but a lot more inland and inland areas will tally another one today. We'll have more on that forecast coming up. Empowering people out of poverty, helping kids like Grace and her